Yote ya mekusa ni kamu Mele Somebody told me and I agree with him. The things of God are more caught than taught. Vitu za kiungu hukamatwa si sana huelea akili. Kaufunuo huwa kana kamatwa somehow. Ninapongea unakamata huyo bwana ni mchungaji wangu na unasema ni kweli mchungaji wangu. Amen. Nikisema ana kuongo ana 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 um, ana Kus, anakufanya kulala kwa majani hayo mabichi unashika amen alafu unaanza kupata ufunuo wako what does that mean kwangu na chakula changu sio cha mifugo what does that mean unaanza kupata your own explanation according to the situation in our house ah sumpigie bwana yesu makofi kwa hivyo ana restore your soul Alafu ya pili ya verse 4 ya verse 3 na kuniongoza katika njia za haki for a long time now anywhere the bible talks of way njia i get interested I get I get encouraged. It is it is a word dear to my heart. Hello. Ya kwamba Bwana akiwa na wewe anakuongoza kwa njia. Kwa njia. Sasa wewe unaelewa tu njia eh, as in njia. <laughs> Mimi naelewa njia kwa maneno mengi. Na lile ninalipenda zaidi ni njia as in methods. Ojo, I think like a teacher and a school teacher for that matter. Amen. Teachers work with methods. Hello. Teachers work with methods. It doesn't matter utapata answer lakini kama the method is wrong bado huwa hatukupati marks. Na kama tutakupa tunakupaga nyingi za method kuliko za answer. Hebu ambia jirani Bwana ataniongoza kwa njia. Waacha njia as in root method ya haki ya kunitoa katika ile hali ambayo inani inani lemasa. Amen. He will give you a strategy. He will give you a methodology out of your crisis. Ah jina la Bwana lipewe sifa Zaburi ya 103 mstari wa sita na wa saba. Bwana ndiye afanyaye mambo ya haki na hukumu kwa wote wanaonewa amjulisha msa njia zake wana wa Israeli matendo yake Nita, nitasoma ile ambayo ina ina inahusika na huu jumbe Bwana ndiye afanyaye mambo ya haki Hiyo haki ni hii alimjulisha msa njia zake wana wa Israel matendo yake wakati wowote Bwana akionyesha kiongozi njia watu wale wa kawaida huona matendo ah. Haleluya wakati Mungu alipokuwa na msa sirini ali deal na Musa akampa fimbo akafika mbele ya mfalme um, farao alipomfika mbele ya farao akawa anaongea kama mwanamme kile watu hawajui ni ya kwamba vile alikuwa anasema babangu zamani he was with the lord this morning <laughs> haleluya anasimama pale mbele na anasema let God has sent me to tell you let my people go says the Lord the God of Abraham the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob and who are you to tell me that akamba try me try me nini akaangusha fimbo 
ikakuwa nyoka akaambiwa ngoja akaleta wake wakaangusha zao zikawa nyoka wakaenda tu wakaenda three before they went for too much zao zika, kwanza zao zilimezwa wakaenda ya pili bado wakashindwa wakashindwa waka give up sumpigie bwana Yesu makofi watu wakaona matendo kwa sababu Mungu amempa msa njia wakawa wamemaliza zile zote ta, zote, zote kumi ikafika ni wakati wa kutoka wakafika karibu na bahari ama wakafika kwenye bahari ya Sham watu wa the ten commandments wanasema e, yule yule jemedari wao wa 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 wa, 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 wa misri akasema their god is a poor general He brought them out of our hands just for them to get stuck before the Red Sea. He is a poor general. Wakafikiri watawashika. Lakini something happened. Mjamaa kinyosha fimbo kuna kuja kitu katikati yao hawawezi kusonga. Amen. Kuna kuwa na nguvu ya kuwaweka nyuma. Kuna nguvu ya ku, ya kufanya hawawezi kuwasongelea. Jamaa ananyosha fimbo tena. Bwana anamwambia mbona mnasimama? Mbona mbona watoto wa Israel wanalia wanalia? Si uambie wasonge mbele. Move forward. Akamwambia nyosha fimbo. Wa Misri hawa waonao leo hautawaona tena, hamtawaona tena milele need a deal now once and for all it doesn't matter their number it doesn't matter their sizes akanyosha fimbo watu wakaona mkono wa bwana mungu alimpa msanjia alimwonyesha method nyosha fimbo bahari ikapasuka wakavuka wale wakasema that is easy sisi pia twaingia Hello hizo ni jumbe zangu za za wakati ule nilikuwa mwinjilist wakavuka bwana wakafika ngambo ile ingine hmm? hiyo zamani mimi ndio ningekuwa ningekuwa huyo msa nimefika ngambo ile ingine ninaita mwabaza na kijana wangu wa kwanza anaitwa mwabaza anasema niko hapa dadi mwasingo Niko hapa dadi zumbo niko hapa dadi mwakio niko hapa dadi penina niko hapa hani alafu nainyosha tena Abdul Ismail Wote wana ya kunywa mnaona wanaelea juu ya maji na sisi tunaanza kutamba pole pole nimekuja kusema haleluya <laughs> nimekuja kusema pandami kitatuacha tukitamba pole pole nimekuja kusema hii economy eh? sisi sitatumaliza tutaimaliza tutaona ngambo we will be on the other side i declare in the name of the lord the lord will give you a method out of this situation when god shows you a way your children will see god's acts When God shows you the way as a as a dad your wife and your children will see the goodness of God. Ndio maana Zaburi hiyo ya 23 mstari wa 6 unasema surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Kuna mtu ananisikia? Amen. Isaya 
Isaya hamsini na tano mstari ni wa tisa na wa kumi kwa maana vile mbingu zilivyo juu sana kuliko inchi kadhalika njia zangu zijuu sana kuliko njia zenu na mawazo yangu kuliko mawazo yenu maana kama vile mvua ishukavyo na theluji kutoka mbinguni wala hairudi huko bali huinyosha ardhi na kuizalisha na kuichipuza ikampa yule apandaye mbegu na mtu alaye chakula ndivyo litakavyokuwa neno langu litokalo katika kinywa changu halitanirudia bure bali litatimiza mapenzi yangu nalo litafanikiwa katika mambo yale nilio litumwa including the one i'm preaching here today hili neno litatimiza lile kusudi ambalo Mungu amelituma kutimiza but anyway ujumbe ni huu Bwana anasema hizo njia zake vile alivyo juu ndivyo na njia zake zilivyo juu vile alivyo juu ndivyo na akili yake ilivyo juu Nanyamaza isink pole pole. Mana nataka nieleze akili ya juu. Na sijahama niko pale pale nilikwambia tangu jana. The gospel is simple and its secrets and its secrets are in its simplicity. Amen. Siri ya injili si ugumu. Aa, siri ya injili ni ule urais wake na urais wake ndio yenye ugumu wake amen mama akawa e, mama mjane akawa watoto wake wanataka kuuzwa naongea juu ya akili ya Mungu ilivyo juu kuliko yetu na huo ujuu vile ulivyo mwanamke mjane wanake ameacha deni huyo bwana ataongea habari zake na ni pasta pasta zitupo naomba tu tu tujoshiane mkono tuhubiriane kidogo msaidie kuambia pasta mwenzangu sisi hataacha deni <laughs> tusaidiane tu kuambiana kwa imani ya kwamba sisi sio sisi ah sio sisi hiyo si yetu lakini nitaiongea nitasema kile sisi tutatakiwa kuacha na nitatangaza kwamba ndio hicho tutaacha si tumpigie bwana Yesu makofi huyu mama nampenda hakuenda kwa brothers in law hakuenda kwa father in law hakuenda kwa other men ambao wa friends to her husband alienda kwa bishop alienda kwa kwa the man of god the prophet elisha alipofika kupale kwa prophet Elisha hiyo ni sawa sawa na kwenda kwa Mungu tulimuona Rebeka mimba iliposumbua alirudi naye kwa Mungu nikasema ya kwamba kile Mungu alikupa kama Mungu atatetea na wewe kirudishe pale pale when it gets complicated take it back to God haleluya talk to God about it huyo ambaye anakuja kukupokonya mshtaki kwa yule alikupa si mtupigie bwana Yesu makofi akafika akaeleza alipomaliza anaulizwa na umeacha nini nyumbani shuali pasta ningekuwa na kitu ningekuja hapa watoto wangu watauzwaje na mimi niko na kitu shuali shuali pasta hata wewe ukifikiria anyway kwa vile umeuliza <laughs> e, hiyo pia ni issue eh unga hakuna chakula kingine hakuna sasa kuna maragwe ama nini tumebaki na mafuta peke yake tena basi ya mafuta pasta ni chupa ile ndogo chupa gani ile ndogo si umeuliza haya nimekuambia akaambiwa that is the solution which one chupa ama mafuta zote eh, eh kama uko na chupa ndogo eh, eh, sasa nenda omba vyombo eh, eh, na ustake vichache i'm sure pia aliambiwa vikubwa na visiwe vichache ambia jirani 
hiyo ndio njia ya Mungu iliyo ya juu iko juu kiasi kwamba ukijaribu kuielewa na hii akili yenye ilienda standard 1 paka 7 yangu haikuenda 8 yangu ilienda 7 alafu ikapelekwa form 1 hii akili yenye ilienda form 1 haielewagi hiyo <laughs> hiyo ati nenda uombe vyombo tena vikubwa na chupa iko pale ndogo Hmm? Ile namtendea Elisha ni mmoja tu ambaye alinifurahisha naye mjifungie angalau msionekano ndio azimu <laughs> Mjifungie alafu mfanye kazi ya kumimina Ikija ondoa ikija ondoa ikija ondoa Zikaja 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 na kuna shida moja tu nimeiona na Mungu Hiyo kitu ikianza kumiminika inaendeleaga kumiminika kosa la kwaga moja na hilo kosa aljawai kuwa pande yake hilo kosa daima huwa pande yetu litaendelea kumiminika mpaka ile siku tutasema e, hakuna chombo tena hakuna chombo e. ilifanyika pale kwa mafuta ilifanyika kwa ile mikate mitano ilikuwa inasemwa mapema hapa na kuambia kama kungekuwa na more children na more women na more men ile mikate ingeendelea kupatikana hata ile mabaki 12 i believe kwa sababu wanafunzi nao walikuwa kumi na wawili na watu hawakuwa wanasaidia kuserve. Kwa hivyo wale wale wanafunzi ndio walikuwa na vikapu vilipoja na mabaki pia akaisha. Lakini kama kulikuwa na watu wengine na vikapu vyao pia ingeendelea. Ambia jirani kuna kitu Mungu anaachilia hapa leo. <laughs> Bado hujakijua takwambia kile kitu ambacho Elisha aliachilia ndio hicho naachilia kinaitwa flow kinaitwa flow kinaitwa flow msakaambiwa nitawatoa nitawapandisha nitawaingiza kwa inchi itiririkayo sina haja na asali na maziwa nina haja na mtiririko kwa sababu mtiririko haujali yako ni maziwa haijali yako ni asali haijali yako ni sukuma wiki haijali yako ni profession mtiririko kisha tiririka hata haijali yako ni huduma nimekuja kuambia mchungaji nimekuja kuambia mfanyibiashara be ready for the flow of god be ready for the flow of god be ready for the flow of god it is the flow of god that will beat this giant of a runaway economy kuna mtu ananielewa kuna mtu anakamata kitu katika anga haleluya isikuwe hasara bana hii kazi ya kubiri sio rais ninakuamsha asubuhi na biblia unaijua kweli kweli bado hakuruhusu ufike hapa ujaomba hakuruhusu ufike hapa ujapitia hayo maandiko na nayajua tangu miaka sijui 20 hata 30 hata baini yote I've been reading this psalm for very long. Lakini lazima nirudie nikirudia nikirudia. Alafu nakuja hapa mtu akamati. Ah. Flow. Ambia jirani Mungu anaachilia flow. Ile flow ambayo na sasa <laughs> nikuchanue. Historia kusema sina chombo. Hakuna tena ndio tutaacha let the flow continue let the flow continue let the flow continue mpigie bwana yesu makofi oh nataka kusonga lakini sijashulikia ile rafiki yetu ambaye aliacha deni Bonesa tukuze sana. Mimi ni mshirika wa kanisa ya Jakobo. Jakobo kama alivyoelezwa katika uh, John chapter 4. Yesu ameenda kwa kisima. Amekaa pale, ameambia watu wote waende madukani kutafuta chakula. Ako na appointment, divine appointment na binti wa Samaria binti wa Samaria akafika na chombo chake wakaanza ile debate yao si unipe maji mimi msamaria mzima na vile nyoo adaudi mna, mna maringo ati mimi nikupe maji <laughs> umechelewa akamwambia vile hujaelewa 
ungeelewa ni nani huyu akombaye maji neema ya Mungu na ne, mwenye anakomba maji ehe wewe ndio ungeomba maji kisha mimi ningekupa maji yaliyo hai ati maji wewe maji ehe. umekuja hapa hivi una hata mtungi kisha kisima ni kirefu utayatoa wapi hayo maji utayatoa na nini huko chini kwani wajidai wewe ni mkubwa kuliko baba yetu Yakobo huo ndio mstari wangu ambaye alichimba hiki kisima akakunywa mwenyewe na akatuachia ni miaka mamia ama maelfu bado twanywa nimekuja kutangaza kisima nachochimba mimi watu watakunywa nitaenda nitawacha wakikunywa haleluya sisi si watu wa kuacha deni sisi ni watu wa kuacha kisima amen sisi ni watu wa kuacha kisima haleluya Natangaza sisi ni watu wa kuacha kisima. Natangaza nitaacha kisima. Hebu simama na wewe utangaze. Simama kidogo, uambie mtu mimi si wa kuacha deni. Mimi si wa kuuziwa watoto. Watoto wangu hawezi uzwa. Mimi kile kisima ninachimba leo. Amen. 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 Hebu tuseme pamoja kile kisimba nachimba leo mimi. Long after nimeenda watu watakuwa bado wanakunywa Sema haleluya kubwa Sema amen kubwa Sema amen kubwa Amen Unaweza kukaa Jina la Bwana litukuzwe Tuna tuna communicate Ama nimekuacha Turudi kwa zaburi yetu nikisema yetu na maanisha ya tatu. Ati mstari wa tatu huniwisha nafsi yangu na kuniongoza katika njia za haki kwa ajili ya jina lake. Halo Naam. Nijapopita kati ya bonde la uvuli wa mauti si nitaogopa mabaya. Kwa maana wewe upo pamoja nami. Gongo lako na fimbo yako vyanifariji. Kana niletea confusion mimi. Halo. Hako kamstari kana niletea nini? unaniongoza wewe kwa njia za haki alafu kidogo nijapopita kwenye bonde la uvuli si ni unaniongoza wewe ah, ili bonde la bonde la uvuli wa mauti tena kwa ni wizi nipitishia kando si wewe ndio unaniongoza kuna mtu kuna mtu yuko na mimi hapo kwenye mimi nimeruka mimi namuuliza huyu bwana umesema utaniongoza kwa njia za haki umeuisha nafsi yangu nimekamata vision nimekubali flow alafu tena ndio aniambia tena ati nijapopita napelekwa na nani tena kwa ile bonde la la uvuli wa mauti please Halo ambia jirani bado bonde la uvuli wa mauti utapita I i i i bwana kuwa na sisi huwa si sababu ati kile watu wanapitia upiti ni ya kwamba wewe uko na guarantee ya kupita safe. <laughs> wewe uko na guarantee ya kupita safe. Wewe wewe ni yule panya ambaye ako na ndovu. Mnatikisa daraja pamoja. Hapo hapo kwa uvuli wa bonde la uvuli wa mauti mnavuka na yeye. Uko safe kwa sababu halo amebebana maana yeye ndiye mchungaji yeye ndio anaongoza yeye ndio ako na gongo lake yeye ndio yuko na fimbo yake na ukishamwona na fimbo na hilo gongo we una shida lile gongo for your information huwa lina miiba miiba yani misumari 
ile misumari kitu chochote kikipigwa kichwa na ile misumari na kuambia lazima kikimbie hakunaga nje ingine hii nayo fimbo huwa ime ina ina kavu kumbele hii ni yangu mimi nikiingia kwa miiba iingie huko ish, ishike hiyo shingo irudishe ndio ndio sababu ya ile fimbo ya kiuchungaji gongo ni la kupiga na ile misumari ukishaona hizo tools alo basi we unafuata tu tuko kwa bonde la uvula mauti lakini sidi yuko mbele ah kuna mtu anashika jamani kuna mtu anashika hiki kitu amen ama nirudi pale pale kwa jana usipobarikiwa na barikiwa mwenyewe basi usipoenjoy na enjoy mwenyewe sumchapie bwana makofi basi ambia jirani nitavuka i will get to the other side it doesn't matter how dark the valley is it doesn't matter how uh, any vile inatishia bado nitavuka sasa inabidi niende haraka kidogo waandaa meza mbele yangu machoni pa watesi wangu umenipaka mafuta kichwani kikombe changu kinafurika Pastor Nixon unaona pale ulinigongea Lazima <laughs> jamaa ameenda kushika huko tena Hiyo ilikuwa yangu Lakini asante uliniachia angalau na mimi rambe rambe kidogo Hebu mpigie bwana Yesu makofi Haleluya Haleluya. Nilisema haleluya. Nisaidie kuambia mtu bondeni tutaingia. Kuna tishia ndio. But there is a party on the other side. There is a party on the other side. Waoga hawatafika kwa hiyo party. Wanaogopa bonde la uvuli wa mauti, wanaogopa majitu ambayo ni mapepo ya makaburi na nini, hawatafika kwa hiyo pati. Nimekuja kukuambia wale ambao tunawapita kwa hilo bonde, pengine walikuwa wana njama, lakini hawatatuweza wakiona ile fibo, wakiona lile gongo, watatuacha tupite. Lakini nimekuja kukuambia tukifika on the other side na wao pia watatufuata. This time hatu tainua fimbo wa mwezwe hapana tutawaacha wapite hata wao alafu wakae pale nje alafu pati yaze tukule wakiona kuna mtu ananielewa kuna mtu ananielewa aliyekutakia mabaya siku moja atakuona ukiwa on the other side ukiwa umebarikiwa ukiwa umefanikiwa ukiwa uko mbele mbele kuna mtu ananielewa amen When God's promotions come sometimes they look like demotions. Amen. Eh kijana wangu mwingine alitolewa hapa akaenda Mombasa kidogo akatolewa. Akaniambia Daddy even nimepelekwa Kakamega nikamfuata huko Kakamega siku nyingine nilikuwa nenda Kigali nikapitia kwake ndio nikaenda. Ah kule alikutana na wajamaa wana kijicho kama nini? kapigwa ngumi na wanaume wakarudi wakasema yeye ndio amepiga ah ikawa kesi ni mbaya maana hana shahidi watu wote wanaongea lugha moja na wamemgeuka ah yule mkubwa akasema <laughs> nyinyi ninavyoona ehe na kaka jamaa eh wewe akupige wewe ili jitu lote la imraba minne alafu napigwa na jamaa si uongo huu alafu hati nyinyi nyote e, amewashinda si mngekuwa mmemaliza mtoto wenyewe fanyeni hivi ehe twachukua mtu wetu twapeleka Nairobi akifika Nairobi ni promotion akifika Nairobi ni nini ni promotion walisema twamleta we karibu na sisi atupige tuone alipiga mtu si ni kuexcel ali excel sasa hii ametumwa huku pwani ana ofisi kubwa basi Some promotions begin like demotions 
mm, ni kwa sababu hamtoshi kwa hiyo ofisi ndio maana kuna vita yako yaja sumpigie bwana Yesu makofi ani paka kichwa changu mafuta kikombe changu chafurika mimi hizi paradox zinanisumbaga sasa kichwa ndio kinapakwa mafuta kikombe kinajaa vipi kijae mpaka na mafuta na mnino wapi kichwani <clears throat> by the way hilo ndio huo ndio mstari wangu wa huduma when god called me he gave me that verse and over flowing cup my cup runneth over nitamaliza na ushuda ushuda wangu nasema hivi mimi ni kigro babangu ni pastor babangu ni bishop nasikia akisema bwana amempa maono makubwa bwana amempa kisima akamwambia watu watakuja kutoka dunia nzima mpaka pale alipo wakunywa wabebe ah kweli sisi tumeona watu kutoka Amerika kutoka wapi wanapanda milimani wanapanda hata bishop alipanda huko huko kwa mzee watu walipanda huko kila mtu alikuwa anapanda anda anda mkutano unaona watu wanakuja from all over washindwa ni anointing ya mtu watu baadaye akawa na bible school kumbe ndio maana watu wanakuja kutoka Tanzania kutoka wapi wanakuja awafundishe warudi nayo sasa mimi bwana amenitoa pale ananileta voi alafu ananiambia mimi amenipa kikombe ah tulisumbwana na Mungu nawe ulisema it is from glory to glory sasa itakuwaje baba ulimpa kisima kizima alafu mimi unanipa kikombe shwali shwali ili vinaenda jivi pale pale unajua god is so good yani he is thara pale pale katika hiyo kesi na Mungu rafiki yangu mmoja akapiga hodi ameingia akasema bwana mimi nimetoka Nairobi ehe na vidole vidole vyake eh, vilikuwa vinaitwa Walkman hmm? unaweka vitu kwa masikio hapa alafu unaenda kusikiza zilikuwa zinaitwa kaseti si CD CD pia tumeondoka huko tuko kwa, kwa kina YouTube lakini sisi tulikuwa kwa kaseti pia tulikuwa tuatembea tembea nazo hapa kwa mfuko. Rafiki yangu akaja na yake pale akaniambia nilikuwa nasikia ujumbe hapa wa, wa Beni Hin. Ehe, umenibariki kweli kweli nime 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 nimepitia kwa lakini naona staki niende kabla hujausikia. Maana rudi kesho nitapitia hapa hapa nikichukua na nyingine nitaenda nikisikiza. Hebu shikizage hii akatoka akaenda. Bwana akaniambia sikiza hiyo ndio iko na jibu lako. Nilifungua hivi Beni Hin anasema ya kwamba em, He anoints my head with oil my cup runneth over therefore they will not drink from my cup they will drink from the overflow akili kafanya pa so mimi nabeba kikombe hamtakunywa kwa kikombe changu mtajipanga huko chini mkunywe kutoka kwa overflow ah basi nikapata habari jina la bwana lipewe shifa you will drink from the overflow people are not coming to drink from your cup you you are carrying your cup and as you pass kikombe kinafurika uki aji msaada ni wewe ujipange mahali mafuriko yanakujia ukunywe sumpigie bwana Yesu makofi sumpigie bwana Yesu makofi and god is exact exact pia mimi alinipa huduma ya kufundisha na nafundishaga ma bible school lakini yangu si mahali pamoja amen yangu inaitwa church based nikishika hii curriculum naita watu wanakuja nafundisha nikitoe ingine kansa ingine naenda nakitisha wahubiri na wafundishe si ni kikombe hiyo nazunguka nayo watu wanakunywa kutoka kwa overflow god is exact surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen god bless you can we stand on our feet Can we stand on our feet? Style yetu ni ile ile. Shika mkono wa mtu mmoja. Mmoja afukuza elfu wawili elfu kumi. Ninataka multiplication effect. Multiplication effect by 10,000. 10,000 per pair. Effect ya flow. Tunaombea flow iachiliwe katika shughuli zetu. Your soul has been restored 
I declare there is no fear in our hearts from this moment. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord is our shepherd. We shall not want. There is no way the devil is going to terrorize us with fear. We refuse it in Jesus' mighty name. We declare flow even to the economy of Kenya. In the mighty name of Jesus. This time, Nataka ufungue mdomo. Uonge na Kenya. Uonge na taitataveta. Uonge na voi. Uonge na kazi yako. Uonge na, 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 na biashara yako. Uonge na uduma yako. Hebu fungua mdomo. Nime a closed mouth is a closed destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we come to you, O oh God. We come to you. We release the flow of God of our lives. We release the flow of God over this nation. We release the flow of God over this county. We release the flow of God over every ministry that is represented here. We release the flow of God. 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 I release your flow, O oh God. I release your flow. I release your flow. I release your flow. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty in name of Jesus in the mighty name of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus kuri basanda la bajindi ribosoni kiri basanda la bajindi we give you praise O Lord we give you honor we bless your name baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tuko tena mbele zako Tunakushukuru kwa neno lako ya kwamba wewe ndiye mchungaji mwema hatutopungukiwa kwa hivyo hizi bei zinazopanda bwana wewe ndiye mchungaji wetu na hilo jitu tunaliangusha na flow ya kidungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunatangaza ya kwamba hatutopungukiwa we thank you Lord because you're going to give us that methodology. You're going to give us that that strategy. The strategy that we release our flow. Every one of us individually. You know how to deal with every one of us. You know how to give us ideas. You know how to help us, oh Lord. Catch the vision that you want us to work on. Father, we thank you. And Father, we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Believing and trusting. And may the church say a big amen. May the church say a big amen. May the church say a big amen. Tunaweza kuka. My brother and my friend Bishop Kamau. This brings me to the end of this session. And my stay here. This time speaking uh, kesho nitaondoka nikielekea na robi na makanisa lako imekusanii